Shalom. Shalom. This is Bros from the GMS North Carolina Camp back for another video. Before we go any further, we'll give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakar Kodash. Double honor to our apostles and elders, the great millstone, for teaching us the truth according to the Bible and rule well, and peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, today we're going to go into a lesson pretty much going in how you're supposed to confess the Lord, you know, mm -hmm. and that confession is made unto salvation, and that there's a great reward for those who confess the names of Yahweh by Shem al -Shai. And you can get on Tobit 13, and uh, we start 2 or 1. Confess Tobit 13. Him. Yeah, Tobit 13. Oh, no, yeah. All right, the book of Tobit, chapter 13, verse 2. Mm -hmm. Four. Uh, verse 3. Verse 3, yes. select it. Uh, confess Him before the Gentiles. Now, and who's that hymn that's talking about? It's talking about the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shai. You know, in the next scripture, we're going to get the definition of confess, but it basically goes into speak openly, you know? It says, read it from the top. It says, Tobit, chapter 13, verse 3. Now speak up just a little bit. John. Confess him before the Gentiles. John, confess him before the Gentiles. Go ahead. Ye children of Israel. So the people that the, the the ones who have been authorized to preach this word and to confess the names of Yahweh by Shema Shai is the children of Israel, which consists of these so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Go ahead. It reads on, for he hath scattered us among them. Uh, for he hath scattered us among them. So that's why you see the men of the Lord out there on the highways and byways in the chief place of concourse, you know, teaching this word. You know, that's why you'll see us in the hood right. teaching the word. Why? Because uh, the nation of Israel is scattered amongst all these other nations. So we got to go to the chief place of concourse where multiple nations are gathering, you know, to bid them to the marriage, you know? Right. You have preset? Um, no, go ahead. Okay. You got any more than that? Dobe? Um, that is it. All right, read that one more time and then they get that Romans 10 and 9. Yep. The book of Tobit, chapter 13, verse 3. Mm -hmm. Confess him. Before the Gentiles, mm -hmm. ye children of Israel, yep. for he has scattered us among them. So this is a commandment that the Lord has um, commanded us to do. This is something the Lord has commanded us to do, and we have to follow the commandments to the best of our abilities, you know? Right. And this is one that we could do easily, you know? Right. Go to the, um, the chief place of concourse, you know, in the city, mm -hmm. downtown, set up, get a 12 tribe poster, yep. and, um, and teach this word, you know, yep. bring out what you know. That's right. Romans 10 and 9? Yeah, come. The book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 9. Mm -hmm. That if thou... I'm sorry, get St. Matthew 10, 32 first. Yeah. yeah, whoever get it first. That's why I want to stop you. Yeah. Did you know? Yeah, yeah. you got it. I got it. We're supposed to be confessing the names of Yahweh by Shema and Shai, you know? You need it? Whoever got it. What is St. Matthew what? 10 and 32. Yeah. The book of St. Matthew, mm -hmm. chapter 10... Verse 32, it reads, Whosoever, and this is written in red coming yeah. from Lord Yahushai, Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. Okay, and how do you confess the names? How do you, how do you confess Yahweh by Shema Shai? Or bring out the scriptures, you know, give them the true, proper breakdown of the scriptures, you know, uh, telling our people who they are. What they have to do to receive salvation. Tell them to come back to the law, statute, commandments of the Bible. Tell them not to eat shrimp, not to eat pork, not to eat lobster. You know, stop worshiping um, your woman. Stop following after these false pagan idols, which are no gods. You know, stop worshiping the customs of America. Pretty much, you know, you gotta come out of thinking like an American and come back to um, thinking like a Hebrew Israelite That's man. Right. You know, okay. it reads verse thirty-three. Yep. Written in red, it says, But whosoever shall deny me and that, go ahead. before men. Mm -hmm. and, and, how, mm -hmm. and how do you deny the Lord? By, um, you know, not teaching the truth, you know. Not going out during the highways and byways. Not being afraid to go out. And if you are uh, only making videos on the internet, you know, breaking down the scriptures wrong. Telling them that um, the names of the Lord is Jesus Christ, Yahya, Shia. You know, and all um, breaking down the scriptures wrong, you know, teaching a false doctrine. Right. That's you denying the Lord because you're not coming in truth and sincerity, you know? Yep. It reads on, 
Him will I also deny before my Father, which is in heaven. Come on, so when our when our lawyer goes, you know, which is Lord Yahweh, our mediator goes to make intercession for us, he ain't gonna give you a good report, you know. Right. Our, our, our intercession versus Lord Yahweh, if you're doing what he commanded us to do, he's gonna give you a good report when he goes back to the Heavenly right. Father, you know. Right. Brother, I, got a piece of I got a quick definition for you. You gonna say that word deny? Mm -hmm. Okay, in the blue letter, it says um, to disregard his own interests or to prove false to himself. Mm -hmm. And it says um, not to accept or to reject. Yep. So, so yeah, Khan, so you're not accepting the truth in its whole entirely, you know? You're rejecting it, you know? Right. When the scriptures say you are um, not supposed to eat pork, you're telling the people it's okay to eat pork, right. that the law is done away with, you know? you denying the Lord. Yep, and when the scriptures say salvation is only for the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the confusion of faces, basically those who go back to the sea line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we are telling people that the, um, that the Lord opened up the, the kingdom of heaven for everybody, <laughs> that's you denying the Lord, you know? Right. Here's the kicker right here. It says uh, to refuse something offered, and what mm -hmm. was offered to our people? Glory, yep. you know that sacrificial lamb, you know, for us mm -hmm. to come back, you know, the wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the scriptures, you know, we offer in salvation to our people, you know, through the blood of the lamb, glory, mm -hmm. uh, Can I bring out this precept? Yeah, because you mentioned that we're the anchor between, um, you know, the heavenly Father. Yahweh is the anchor. Between yeah, the mediator. The mediator is like. Uh, St. John chapter 14 verse 6 mm -hmm. Yahweh Shai said unto him And this is written in red I am the way The truth and the life mm -hmm. So Lord Yahweh Shai is the way That's the way you're supposed to be following You know, you're supposed to follow Lord Yahweh Shai You know, the truth, you know The wisdom, knowledge, understanding the scripture And the life, you know This this, this word, him dying on the cross for us And believing on him That's what's going to be able to give you life mm -hmm. And uh, give you a chance to rule in the next kingdom to come, you know? When the kingdom of heaven, when um, Jerusalem is made of praise in the earth again. That's right. Mm -hmm. It says, no man cometh unto the Father but by me. God, but you, so you can't just skip past the only begotten Son. You got to go to, um, you gotta go through the Son in order to get to the Father. That's why we say, yeah, I will buy Shimei Awe Shai, you know, in the name of Lord Awe Shai, you know? And, I, and, and I, might, I might chime in. That's the reason why I brought the scripture out, just to show how serious it is for us to confess Him. You know? This is uh, Luke 12 and 8. Yep. And it's written in red, so it's Lord Yahweh Shah speaking. Yep. Also, I say unto you, whosoever shall confess me before men, him shall the Son of Man also confess before the angels of the Most High. Can I read that one more time? Yep, this is Luke 12 and 8. Also I say unto you, whosoever shall confess me before men, mm -hmm. him shall the Son of Man also confess before the angels of the Most High. Okay, and what it's saying, Ezekiel 9 and 4, you know, set a mark on the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry. Mm -hmm. So the Lord, you know, he, he has his angels giving a report, you know. Uh, read it one more time, Bob, for the show. Yep. I don't want to break it down wrong. Okay, this is Luke 12 and 8. Also I say unto you, whosoever shall confess me before men. Come on, so the Lord um, knows who's really confessing them, you know. The Lord knows who puts his trust in them, you know. The Lord knows who's fed up with this society, who's mm -hmm. sighing and crying. Right. So what, the Lord, go ahead. It says, uh, Luke 12 and 8, Also I say unto you, whosoever shall confess me before men, mm -hmm. him shall the Son of Man also confess before the angels of the Most High. God, so the angels are, are going to know who to protect in that day, you know, when all hell is breaking loose, and also the angels are going to know who to go and um, bring judgment upon right. for all their wickedness, you know? So if you are um, confessing the Lord Yahweh Shai before the world, you know, teaching the, the proper breakdown of the scriptures, you know, um, and truth and sincerity going out the highways and byways, you know, there's a great reward for that, and, uh, and ultimately it's going to be salvation and being pr protected during the time of Jacob's trouble. That's right. If I'm laying back off what you just said, bro, mm -hmm. you know, that goes in a little bit to the video that I did, you know. Well, if you got this word, you got to go out there and confess you how about Shimei was shot, man. Right. What we're doing is not about us, to per se, other than our salvation, but it's a push and elevate you how about Shimei was shot, man, because he's not being uh, uh, pushed and elevated in this wicked 
uh, world like he needs to, man. You know? We're supposed to confess him. Because at the end of the day, if we don't confess him, he's not going to confess to the, uh, the Most High, his father, about uh, our salvation, man. Right. Yeah. Yo, he did what I wanted him to do, so, you know, spare him. Yeah. You know? Yep, verse 9. But he that denieth me before men shall be denied. Yep. So when it's time for uh, mercy to be shown, you know, because the Lord is having mercy upon his people right now by us preaching this word, you know. Mm -hmm. He that um, he that showeth mercy shall receive mercy pretty much, you know. He that is merciful, blessed the merciful, shall they shall attain mercy, you know. So the Lord is having mercy on his people, and he's using us to do it, you know. Mm -hmm. When it's time to receive mercy, we're going to get that mercy back, you know. Mm -hmm. Finish it out. Mm -hmm. This is Luke 12 and 9. But he that denied me before men shall be denied before the angels of the Most High. Yep, so if you're denying the Lord, you know, when you ask for mercy from the angels, please don't kill me, please right. don't kill me. Ain't no mercy going to be shown to you, you know. Mm -hmm. That death is going to come. Right. And you know why mercy is not going to be shown? Because when the word was out, you know, they, they walked past the camp smoking a cigarette, yep. you know, they didn't want to put the cigarette down, mm -hmm. try to explain themselves on why they can eat pork, try right. to justify it, Right. okay? They, you know, and, and ultimately just walking by the men of the Lord, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. Whether it's out there on the highways and byways, whether it's a sit-down video, okay? Yep. You know, that's how you deny the Lord. Yep. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. First Timothy chapter two verse five. For there is one power and one mediator between the Most High and men. The man Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. That's just proving that you can't get to the heavenly Father without Lord Yahweh Shai. You know. You gotta get that Romans. Romans. That's why Lord Yahweh Shai is so important to confess, you know? Mm -hmm. You gotta confess the Lord, yo. He's the only one that gonna make that intercession for you. Yep. Without him, you ain't getting you ain't getting back to the um the Heavenly Father, you know? That's right. Can I just say one thing, bro? Yeah, Cause the most high he the judge, you know what I'm saying? Lord Yahweh Shai is our lawyer, man. You go to court, go to court, you know what I'm saying, without a lawyer right. and see what happened, man. Yep. They're gonna railroad you, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause what? You don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. The law you do, man. That's why you know what I'm saying we need our lawyer, man. We need Lord Yahweh Shai, man. To go to the Heavenly Father for us, man, to judge, man. That's right. But the scriptures say what? The most high is the judge, man. Yep. The scriptures say that, man. The scriptures say the most high is the judge. Mm -hmm. And you need your lawyer, man. Yep. The, um, the mediator, man. Yep. The intercessor, man. Yep. Lord Yahweh Shai. Yep. Yep. You know, the most high is the judge. You sit down one and set up another. Right. You know? The Lord uh, is about to set up the children of Israel to wear the crown, you know? That's right. The book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 9. Mm -hmm. That if thou shalt confess mm -hmm. with thy mouth yep. the Lord Yahweh Shai. And get the definition of confess in the yep. Yep. Right you know, you look at what it's going to say. It's thou shalt confess with thy mouth, you know. You yep. got to speak these things openly, right? The definition of confess, according to the Blue Letter Bible, it says to say the same thing as another to agree with. Yep, so we're agreeing with everything that's written in the scriptures. You read that one, yep. To profess, to declare openly. Mm -hmm, to declare openly. To who? The world. To, you know, to the children of Israel. That's why we brought this. That's why the Spirit had to bring out the first scripture, confess him among the Gentiles, because the children of Israel are scattered, you know? So, you know, we're, we're gathering the elect with this word, you know? And ultimately, we want to do this work, so what? So the elect can be sealed. Death and destruction to come to America, and what the Lord Yahweh Shai can rule, you know, us being joint heirs with him. We're doing this uh, work to the Lord Yahweh Shai and get his kingdom, and he's gonna uh, appoint us joint heirs, you know, all those that um, did the work that confessed them before the, before the world. It says to speak out freely, mm -hmm, to speak out freely, you know, to be willingly to do this, you know, if we do this thing willingly, we have a reward to, to praise. Yeah, and that's, and that's how we praise y'all by Shema Shai, by doing these videos, you know? Yeah. By doing sit-down lessons, yeah. and first and foremost, by going out there on the highways and byways and preaching this word. That's it on that. Yeah, God. Yeah. The book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 9, mm -hmm. that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth. So if thou shalt speak openly, you know, teach the teach the children of Israel about Lord Yahweh Shai, tell them to come back to repent. 
you know, and to seek the God of the Bible. Go ahead. With thy mouth, the Lord Yahweh shy, mm -hmm. and shalt believe in thine heart. Come, so you is um, the scriptures say, um, I believe, therefore have I spoken. You know, so you really gotta believe what you're speaking. You know what I mean? If you believe, you gotta be confessing the Lord. You know what I mean? That's all. Something what it comes down to. Okay. It says, and shall believe in thy heart that the Most High hath raised him from the dead. Kind of, because we believe that the Lord is sitting in heaven's living, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that he's going to come back and save his remnant, his elect, those that believe on his word. Because the Lord Yahweh I never got risen from the dead. What? That means he ain't sitting on the right hand throne. Right. And that means all power isn't given to him. But we believe that all power is given to the Lord Yahweh Shai. And that he has the power to come back and save us from the coming destruction. These ICBM nuclear missiles that will destroy America. You know? And many other things. The race riot. The famine. The pestilence. You know? Uh, cannibalism. Those FEMA troops. The RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. But ultimately, those missiles. That's right. Okay. And believe and shall believe in thy heart that the Most High has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. God, so the Lord telling you how you're going to be saved, you got to do the work, man. Mm -hmm. Read verse 10. Verse 10. The book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 10. It's like your brother, look, believe on him and do the work. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Believe on him and do the work. You know? Yep. Because you got people out there doing the work, but they don't believe, though. Right. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Got right. these false prophets out there. Yeah, they're doing the work, but they don't believe, so they really ain't doing the work. They you know really what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, they teach you, you know, a false doctrine. Yep. They don't, they don't believe what the, the scriptures say. They don't believe the report, you know, the whole role, you know. The book of Romans chapter 10, verse 10. For with the heart, man believeth unto righteousness. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. God, confession is made unto salvation, you know. That's pretty much, uh, if you love that word confession, it's pretty much the same definition as speak out openly, you know what I mean? Reverse 11, yeah, might as well. Yep, the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 11. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Why? Because, you know, I mean, we we'll, we'll be out there on the highways and byways, and, you know, it seemed like, you know, people, uh, they be laughing, they be scoffing or whatever. But what? It said, don't be ashamed, because we know what? Those people are going to perish from them. That right. there's a great reward for those teaching the truth, you know? Right. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter two, verse forty-two. Mm -hmm. I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Sinai mm -hmm. a great people yep. whom I could not number. Okay, so a great people. This is talking about the elect, you know, those that confess the names of the Lord, you know, that were on the highways and byways, that wasn't ashamed for preaching this work, you know. In this time, you know, it seemed. Uh, in, it can seem embarrassing. You, know, you go out there preaching the word. Well, you see people laughing at you. you. See people mocking. You see people driving by. You know, making jokes. But what? Those people are gonna die soon. Come. You That's know right. what I mean? And we're gonna. And Lord's will we be part of this. That's right. You yeah, can I just chime in right quick, yeah. bro? Cause you made a good point. Right about now, you know what I'm saying here in America. Um, they're making it seem like it's evil to serve the Lord, man. Yep. They make it seem like it's a bad thing to do what we're doing. The only yep. thing we're doing is preaching the Bible, man. Yep, and that's why um, Joshua said if it seemed evil to serve the Lord, choose this day whom you will serve. But Joshua, you know, a man the Lord, he knew it was a great reward for serving yep. Yahweh by Shema Shuk. But soon, all these people, they're going to have to come and worship to our feet, you know, all those people that mocked the skull. First, they're going to have to die a terrible death for right. us. Go ahead. Yep, this is Second Ezra chapter two, verse uh, forty-two. Mm -hmm. I Ezra saw upon the Mount Sinai a great people whom I could not number, mm -hmm. and they all praised the Lord with songs. Yep. And in the midst of them there was a young man of a high stature. Yep. And that man's talking about glory hour, man. Good. Taller than all the rest, mm -hmm. and upon every one of their heads he set crowns. And was more exalted, which I marvel at greatly. Con, to the Lord, Yahweh is rewarding a certain group of men, an Israelite man, for Mount Sinai, you know, and we're giving them crowns, you know. That crown represents rulership, you know, and it's going to be an actual crown, you know, a crown of gold, pretty much. It might be something better than that, who knows, you know. But, you know different stones got, and all that, in yeah, it, you know what I'm saying? The Lord got a great uh, crown, a great uh, position of rulership. For those men that are confessing the, the Lord, for certain men that's doing something, we're gonna, it's, the scripture's gonna say it. Go ahead. 
Verse 44. Mm -hmm. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? Kind of like, who are these people that are getting crowned? You know? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. He answered and said to me. I know, bro. He said he marveled at it. Yeah, he marveled at it. You know what I'm saying? Yep. He was like, damn. Uh, yeah. <laughs> who is that, yo? Look at them, yo. They was like superstars. Like people marvel at the superstars uh, nowadays. Yeah. Ezra, you know what I'm saying, looked upon those men that was getting crowned, and he marveled at them, man. Yeah. It was, he didn't take it as a light thing, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yep. You're right. Go ahead, bro. Verse 45. Verse 44 again. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? Mm -hmm. He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off mortal clothing mm -hmm. and put on the immortal. Yep, so they put off this world and put on this truth, you know what I mean? Lord Yahweh shot. That's right. And, and plus, no saying they got their spiritual power. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No saying they got rid of them old bodies. No yep. saying then they put on the spiritual yep. bodies now. Yep, exactly. Yep. Come, come. I mean, I mean, these are the men that can't die no more. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep, exactly. Because um, being mortal, you can die. You know what I'm saying? But being immortal, you know what I'm saying? You can't die. Ain't no more dying. You know what I'm saying? And that's when life truly begins. You know, when yep. you live forever. You know. Go ahead. And have confessed the name of the Most High. Come on, and have confessed the name of the Most High. What? So what? That's how um, you're going to receive that crown. By confessing the name of Yahweh by Shem Shah. You know what I mean? Going on the highways, teaching this word, week in and week out to the best of your abilities. Mm -hmm. Doing videos, sit down lessons like we're doing now. You know? We, we not, our labor of love is not in vain. You know? There's a great right. reward yeah. for what we're doing. Good. Now are they crowned and receive palms? Verse 46. Then said I unto the angel. Now are they crowned and receive palms, you know? Now all those people that was laughing and self them, they got to come and reverence the men of the Lord, yep. you know? Mm -hmm. They got crowns. We the rulers mm -hmm. now. Right. We tell you what to do, you know what I mean? We're going to be the ones that um, is going to be an authority figure, you know? What Lord's I mean? will. You, Lord's will ain't kind of the lot, but Lord's will will be part of this right here. You know, and that's what we're hoping for, and that's what we believe in, you know. That's why we're doing the work. Right. Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowneth them? Yep. And giveth them the palms in their hands. Let's see who that young person is. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. So he answered and said unto me, mm -hmm. It is the son, the son of the Most High, whom they have confessed. Yes. In the world. God is the son of the most high whom they have confessed in the world, you know. Are right. we not in the world right now, you know, catching hell? But, you know, be a good chick for the Lord have already overcome the world, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? When we come back with his holy angels, he's coming back to deliver the elect. That's right. That, uh, those that, uh, that were found doing the work. So we can get that. Go ahead, read up from top one time. Yep, 2nd Ezra, chapter 2, verse 47. So he answered and said unto me, it is the son of the most high. Whom they have confessed in the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they confess in the world. Let's see. Go ahead. Oh. The book of St. Matthew, chapter 24, verse 45. Mm -hmm. Written in red. Who then is a faithful and wise servant? Mm -hmm. Whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household. Yeah, go ahead. To give them meat in due season. Okay, and that meat represents the word. So who did the Lord set up to teach his word to um to feed the the, the remnant of his people, you know? Who's that wise and faithful servant? Go ahead. Verse 46. Mm -hmm. Blessed is that servant yeah. whom his Lord when he cometh shall find so doing. Okay, so the Lord came back right now, you know, today, and he you know, cracked open those skies you will see us doing the work, you know what I mean? And we'll be saved. He says, blessed is that servant, you know what I mean? Really? Go ahead. It reads on verse 47. Verily I say unto you, that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. And what's the Lord's goods? Everything, yo. Right. He said, uh, it was created by <coughs> God for me, you know what I mean? So everything you see is the Lord's goods, you know, the heavens. Uh, what the, the the atmosphere, you know, the space, all those different planets, you know what I mean? The Earth. You gonna make us? You gonna give, make them ruler? What? He's gonna give them rulership. Okay. Verse forty-eight. So like these animals. Yeah, the animals. But and if that evil servant. That's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Yep. So going back, the Second Ezra chapter two, verse forty-seven. So I can, verse 46. 46 yep. Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowned them? Mm -hmm. 
and giveth them their palms and their hands. That's, that's why the scriptures say every knee shall bow and confess that the Lord Yahweh shy, um, confess, you know, Lord Yahweh shy. This is when um, the elect is going to bow to Lord Yahweh shy, and that's when he's going to crown us, you know right. I mean? It says, so he answered and said unto me, it is the son of the Most High, whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Mm-hmm. Yep, stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord, you know? Where, um, that's why scriptures say, make your face hard against their face, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They come up bucking up against the truth. I mean, we stood stiffly, we stood firm, grounded in this truth, that whatever you're saying was lies, and we believe what the scripture is saying, you know what I mean? What we were taught by, starting with our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, you know? That this is the truth, this is the way, this is the way to walk, to receive salvation, to receive that crown. Mm -hmm. Okay. Finish it out. Hey, can I say something, bro? Because what? They was fully persuaded in their mind, you know yep, what I'm saying? Exactly. That's why they stood so stiffly, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They was persuaded, man, mm -hmm. that yep. this was the truth, man. Yep. And they stuck with it. What did he say? Um, he, he began to commend them, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Good job, brothers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then said, then the angel said unto me, yeah. Go thy way and tell my people what manner of things and how great wonders of the Lord thy power thou hast seen. Come on, so the Lord gave us the breakdown of the scriptures. We understand this scripture. We understand what's coming to what we go out and tell the people. Yeah. That there's a reward. There's a crown coming for those that believe on the name and confess the name and teach the people. You know what right. I mean? You know what I mean? But, you know, any brothers got anything to say? That's pretty much it. Right, God, you know, um, Lord's willing, you know, you, the, um, the elect of the nation of Israel is edified. Before right. we go any further, we'll give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekhah, Kodash. The Ronsar are apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Kodisha is the truth, according to the Bible, we rule well. Right. And peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. Till next time we say, Shalom. 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 I'm going to tell you a lesson, my brother, I said, um, 